just leaving the leave, right? Chillin' fam, how you doing? Ah, uh, man, I'm good, yo. It's, it's a pleasure to have you here on my album, The Atonement, man. Oh, it's my pleasure to be here, man. And I thought it'd be dope to kind of chop it up about certain terms that we throw out a lot but never really define. So why don't I throw out some terms and you can give us the definitions? All right, let's do it. All right, let's start it off with who is God? God is the universe's creator and sustainer. Plus the only savior, there is no one greater. He's triune, holy, omnipotent, omniscient, absolute, loving, sovereign, and righteous are a few of his attributes. How do we know this? Well, we know this from the Bible where God has revealed himself. Anything else is just an idol. What's the Bible about? Man's complete ruin and sin and what God has done in Christ to bring us to him again. What is sin? Sin is the breaking of God's law plus our condition, which means from birth we all got flaws. What's the result? The result is by nature we're God's enemies and must pay the penalty unless God provides the remedy. What's the remedy? The remedy is the cross of Christ where yeah. he suffered all the strikes for the lawless type. I've been rescued by the lamb, I'm convinced that he's risen and blessed is the man whose sins are forgiven. Just yeah. fall back and with the eyes of faith behold the beauty of surprise and grace cause the lamb has died. Third day he had to rise, he's magnified, God's wrath is satisfied. So fall back, there's an atonement now, the cross of Christ is holy ground cause the lamb has died. Third day he had to rise, he's magnified, God's wrath is satisfied. Alright, so we've seen how sin produces the need for an atonement. Why don't we talk about some of the terms involved in the event and application of the atonement? Okay. Alright, let's start with the uh, regeneration. The Holy Spirit's true work in his love to the elect who receive new birth from above. Expiation. Expiation means God's removed my filthiness. The Old Testament type was the goat into the wilderness. Redemption. We've been freed from slavery to sin, and his very own blood is the price he paid, my friend. Propitiation. Propitiation means since the lamb has died, it's Work is finished, God's wrath is satisfied. Adoption. Adoption means God is now my father. I got the hottest papa, and by the spirit, holla Abba. Reconciliation. Means there's no more enmity. God is now a friend of me with no longer enemies. Justification. God declares us righteous. Sanctification. We're being made into his likeness. Glorification. That's what happens at the finish when God conforms believers perfectly to Christ's image. Just fall back and with the eyes of faith, behold the beauty of surprise and grace. Cause the lamb has died, third day he had to rise, he's magnified, God's wrath is satisfied, so fall back, there's an atonement now, the cross of Christ is holy ground, cause the lamb has died, third day he had to rise, he's magnified, God's wrath is satisfied. Okay, so we've seen the need for the atonement, and we've talked about the event of the atonement. Uh -huh. So now why don't we talk about how the atonement is applied to us? Okay. Yeah, God's grace is magnificent. He slayed his innocent son through faith and repentance. We get the benefit. What is faith? Faith is a gift from God, but we receive this. We trust and treasure the person and finished work of Jesus. Repentance. Repentance is turning from your sin and yeah. trusting Christ as the Spirit cleanses you within. What is grace? Oh, grace is unmerited favor. Our inheritance major because we cherish the Savior. <laughs> right, and if I may quote again, we were doomed with Satan, but mm. believers get Jesus' righteousness through imputation. Imputation? God takes Jesus' righteousness amount through faith, he credits it into the Christian's account. Anything else? Well, I guess this overview must suffice, but none of this is possible apart from union with Christ. Mm -hmm. And finally, once you know the ways of the Lord, then the only thing that you can say is soli Deo Gloria. Just fall back and with the eyes of faith, behold the beauty of surprise and grace. Cause the lamb has died, third day he had to rise, he's magnified, God's wrath is satisfied, so fall back, there's an atonement now, the cross of Christ is holy ground, cause the lamb has died, third day he had to rise, he's magnified, God's wrath is satisfied. Miracle theology, spiritual analogies, the miracle of Calvary, empirical reality, miracle theology, spiritual analogies, the miracle of Calvary, empirical reality, miracle theology. Spiritual analogies, the miracle of Calvary, empirical reality, miracle theology, spiritual analogies, the miracle of Calvary, empirical reality.